OK, hello and welcome. This is the calendar maker. When you open it, it defaults to today's date. Click open calendar to see a calendar for the chosen month. You can add holidays, a title, send it to a PDF file, and now when we open it up, it has created a PDF. You can easily change the month and year. The number of months. The type of calendar. Hi, this is Crystal, also known as Strive for Peace. I'm happy to be here today and to share a couple of my tools with you, my calendar maker and an add-in to document SQL and find problems. Both are free downloads on msaccessgurus.com. May I have a question to the calendar? Absolutely. Um, as a German, what about the uh, ESO numbering with weeks and starting at Monday? Oh, great question. Let's find out. Ah, here we go. Apply that as soon as I apply. Um, start Monday, open calendar. Ah. Don't know why it didn't do German. Did I not apply that? I applied. Well, that's weird. Is it still called April? Yes. <coughs> oh, okay. April <laughs> well, is April. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I, I thought something was wrong. So, yeah, the calendar maker shows days of the week in your language and remembers what you want to use for the first day of the week when uh, the calendar is printed. I'll change it to Norwegian. And just apply that. And I'll set the month to five. Notice it changes those days without even being triggered. And I'll choose holidays for Norway and a different format for the calendar. I open it up and here's the calendar. I'll just make it a little bit bigger. That's kind of cool, Crystal. Can you do Russian? Uh, sure, I could. Um, I don't have the holidays in there for Russian, but in Norway, the 17th of May, or Setenda Mai, is the Norwegian Constitution Day and a big time for celebrations. And the calendar shows that it fall, falls on a Sunday, or Sondag, and as you can see, you can also print calendars with pictures. These roses are in an external file. Set this language back I, I to can see English. making a, camera, uh, a calendar like that for my wife. Her native language is Russian. Yeah, I, uh, I don't see any reason why you can't. I'm still working on the picture feature, and I, I've also made some changes to my calendar maker, and I want to see if there's any problems with my SQL. So I've got some add-ins installed. 
One of them is a document SQL. So I can run this and I can choose to document queries, forms, or reports. And I'll just document the queries right now. And I've already actually done it. And as you can see, what it does is uh, tells you the name of the query. And it also tests everything. This first one is bad, <laughs> so it couldn't actually run it. But if it can, then it also tells you how many records are in it. So um, I'll just minimize this. You can also test the forms, the reports. It also tests the, uh, it not only documents the record source, but it also goes through and documents all of the row sources. So this Word document is created. The records are counted. Another thing that you can do with the calendar maker is you can show data in your database. I'll put the holidays to US and I'll pick um, appointments for Abigail and I'll just leave this set as it is, except I don't think I'll do roses. I'll just go back to full page calendars, landscape, open the calendar. And now what it has done is it has uh, some of these days have multiple records per day, so it concatenates them and joins them with whatever the Windows list separator character is. Now, when you look at the design view of this report, there aren't any controls. Everything is drawn with line and print methods. So behind the report, what we see is it's calling Calendar Maker. It's sending the report object. It's sending X and Y coordinates of the upper left. It's sending the width and the height of the calendar. I'll just go to the definition of this. There's a couple more parameters you can also set. Now, before it opened the calendar report, the report menu ran this setup calendar procedure which sets the first uh, day or the first date so it knows when to start because, of course, we can print more than one month at a time. Now, if you want to import this calendar into your database, you only need these four modules. You don't need the form. And if you want the form, you can get it. You can also get any of the sample reports. You can get holiday information, whatever else you need. As far as what it needs for the queries, the queries uh, go by having holiday in the name of the query or calendar in the name of the query. These are the calculated fields that need to be in there. and. Um, the holiday query needs all five of them. The calendar data query doesn't need as bold. I mean, it could be there. It just won't pay any attention to it. And you can have additional fields in the query. It, it just won't, um, it won't pay attention to them. Now you can download this. So I'll go to the top. There's a download link. So you can download this, and you can also download the document SQL. So it's here as well. Both of these, if you go to MS Access Gurus and you go to the Tools menu, you'll find both of these on the Tools menu. Here's the Calendar Maker. Here's add-ins. I've got a couple more add-ins that you can get. And um, if you don't know how to install an add-in, I've got a video tutorial on YouTube that tells you how to make and install an add-in. Please email me with your comments and ideas. I love hearing how you're using the free tools that you can download from MS Access Gurus. And if you want one-on-one -on -one help while you're building your application, let's connect. I do remote programming and training, and I'd love to help you. Thanks for joining me, and thanks to Carl and Peter for making this conference available.
And I have a few minutes left. I'd really love to hear your comments. So turn your microphone on and tell me what you think about these tools. Type in the chat. Share your thoughts and ideas. Who's first? Crystal, could you put, you know that video you, you had for um, creating uh, add-ins? Would you put the yeah. link in the chat for us, please? Uh, yeah, if you go to, um, I, I can, and also if you go to my add-in, the document SQL page, you'll also see it here, the link, here's the steps, and there's also a link here, but I'll also put it in the chat, so let me just copy this right here, and I'll pull up Teams. Let's move this to my other monitor. Thank you right. for asking, Adrian. From the, Oops. From the bottom right, you have to do? paste it in, Crystal. <coughs> Excellent. Okay, so does anybody have any other comments or questions? I know I kind of did a whirlwind on this, and it does more things, but I tried to keep it short. <coughs> Hi, Crystal. Thank you. It's Teresa. Um, I just put a quick question in the chat because you showed it connected to a calendar you already had and then you printed out all the lists. Um, but what types could you just show us or show or we, you can show me offline later um, what other what types of calendars and where you just specifically connect? Well, basically, the way that this code works, thanks, Teresa, the way this works is you just, um, the calendar maker tool, basically, you can print calendars. It doesn't have controls. So this uses the line and print methods. You send it where you want it to be, and you tell it how wide and how tall you want it to be. You can also give it other parameters. I've got, I've, a, I've got a few I've, sample reports in here. One of them is just to print it landscape, full page. And the, the only reason I did this is to make the code easy behind the report because obviously you can... Um, uh, but I I think I I wasn't clear because you link to an existing calendar. You, I well, my maybe I misunderstood. I thought you linked to a specific calendar, and printed out in your calendar. Like I thought you were maybe linking to an Outlook or a something else calendar, and then you print it out with this tool. No, no, no. I just generated everything with this tool. The only thing I already had done was I already had the document SQL Word document generated, but I could have just waited for, you know, 10 seconds <laughs> for it to make it. But oh, uh, I no, see. Okay. everything was done right now, right here. I didn't have anything pre-generated. Hey, Crystal, I think, I, I, I think she's asking about the data. Oh, I think oh, Teresa oh, just the data. Yeah, yeah. I have I have sample data in here. Uh, lots of sample data actually. And the um when you drop this holiday list, I, I spent a couple days. I put holidays right. in for a few years for different countries on the um, data query. I put some different sample datas in here, like uh, you know, there's just all kinds but of you, tables in here you that you don't need. But you just, showed up, you showed somebody suddenly they had all these different appointments and you said you just link to the calendar and then it'll print it out nice and big screen or, you know, whether you print it or just show it nice big screen. Right. I just, I have some sample data, data in here. One of them is oh. an appointment table. One of them is contacts, oh, okay. appointment type. Thank you. I just made a query. No, good correct question, Teresa. <laughs> I know this was really quick and kind of. No, that, thank you. I thought you were so reaching great. out to all these other programs everywhere and I went, wow. <laughs> yeah. No, thank you. No, it's <laughs> All this sample data is just here because you know, people can bring this into their database and they exactly. can just make whatever queries they want with their data. But I just yeah. wanted some samples to show what it might look like. 
No, that's perfect. Thank you so much. Sorry for adding confusion. <laughs> no, no. Good question, because I'm sure other people were wondering about that, too. So okay. thank you, Crystal. Well, You're thank you, Carl. Thank, thank you, you very much. Hey, Crystal. Yes. I think you just got a new challenge by Teresa. Since Microsoft Access got its name in part by being able to access a wide variety of data, um, build that feature into your calendar where it can access Outlook data. Well, that's a that's a really good suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a free calendar, <laughs> so you know. I know. I, and I would I'm love just, for I'm people to you. build I'm things just... with it, and you know, share back. And I'll go ahead and post what you do on the web page for everybody to get. 